Imagine yourself here on a tall, tall cliff and there is a really, really heavy rock down on the ground. And you would want to get that rock up onto the cliff edge with you, like so. How would you do that? Well, people have designed some tools, some simple machines to help them with these sorts of tasks. And one of them is called the incline plane. So you build like a ramp there and your rock is here and you can roll it up without having to lift the heavy boulder. So an incline plane will help you move things up or downwards along the ramp. Then another way would be to use a pulley. And a pulley is a type of wheel. And on the pulley wheel there is a rope going around it that can carry heavy objects. So you have your pulley wheel here and it is attached higher up, like so. And then there is a very sturdy rope that goes around the pulley wheel down to where your heavy load is. You tie it nice and tightly. And then when you pull the rope, the heavy load will go upwards as you pull it around the pulley wheel and that is how you lift your heavy object. Now imagine that you are just standing here on the ground now and you've got the same very heavy rock here next to you and you would want to move it somewhere else, a little bit to the right perhaps, like so. How on earth would you do that? It's so very, very heavy. What can we do here? One good way is to use a lever. So here is how that works. You have your heavy load and next to it you will place a pivot. And then you have a long stick or metal bar. And as you are here, and you push down on that lever, then what will happen to the heavy load? That will go upwards and roll over. There are a couple of other simple machines that are good for you to know about. One of them is a wedge. A wedge can be really useful when you're trying to cut something into smaller bits. So here we have a log, a really, really sturdy log, and we would want to split it in half like this. There. How are we going to do that? So here we can use a tool called an axe and that is made of a long handle and a blade and the edge of the blade is sharpened so it's kind of a triangular shape and this is a normal shape of a wedge so as you whack the wedge downwards towards the object that you want to break so as force comes downwards, then the wedge will pry the two sides apart. The next simple machine is wheel and axis, and those are really useful to help us carry heavy loads further away. So if we wanted to move this pile of rocks over there, how could we do it? These are very heavy. Well, what we can do is we can make some kind of an apparatus, perhaps something like a wheelbarrow. And a wheelbarrow has a wheel that spins on an axle. And as it spins 
around the axle. It makes our life considerably easier because then with the handles of the wheelbarrow, we can simply just push the stones inside the wheelbarrow and the wheel will spin around the axle and we don't have to worry about carrying. Let's take a better look at the wheel and axle. So here is a wheel and the wheel is connected to a bar like that, that is the axle and then there's another wheel connected to that sometimes. There can be one or two wheels. And as the axle spins, like so, it will also spin the wheel and the other one. And this is how a wheel and axle works. Now, the last simple machine that we'll take a look at is the screw. And the screw is basically an inclined plane wrapped around a pole. And screws can be used to lift things or to hold things together. We use screws in swivel chairs, jar lids, and of course, just screws when we want to build stuff.